All right, both houses have been adjourned, so that's the latest that we are picking up so far. Remember, uh, just like my colleague Pragya was pointing out, the opposition continues to uh, demand uh, for the discussion on Manipur. Pragya, of course, continues to stay live with us. Pragya, what's the latest that you can tell us? We do pick up that uh, it has been adjourned for the day. It has been adjourned for the day, and in fact, uh, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Pralaj Joshi also uh, stood up in the house to request all the opposition party members to let the house run, let the house function. They said the government has maintained that they will allow uh, the debate of uh, on Manipur as requested by all the, as demanded in fact by all the opposition parties. Yet the opposition parties are adamant that the house should start with a debate on Manipur. The government says that they doubt the intention for the debate and discussion. They would like debate and discussion to take place, but they doubt the intention of the opposition now, given the fact that uh, government had agreed and they said that it is the prerogative of chairman or the speaker to decide the time and date for this debate. Uh, we also saw prime minister coming out today and speaking on uh, the you know viral videos that have come out from Manipur. He said that the whole country is, is ashamed and uh, we are that he is hurt, he is angry and he requested all the chief ministers to ensure that there is law and order situation uh, perfectly, uh, you know, balanced in their respective state vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, crime against women and also the law, law and order situation should be such that uh, the women should be protected. Uh, uh, he said that, uh, you know, culprits will not be spared. Everyone will be involved in this incident, will be punished. This is uh, the statement that has come from the prime minister. And also, you know, when he uh, entered the house, he uh, greeted every opposition uh, party member. And when he went up to uh, uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, he, uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, uh, uh, reportedly, uh, uh, you know, she expressed uh, also uh, this demand and also said to the Prime Minister that, you know, we should have a debate on Manipur, to which Pradhan Mantri noted and agreed. Uh, this is also uh, an incident that took place inside the House. So overall, uh, government is not uh, shying away from debate on Manipur. However, they also maintain that when opposition is speaking about crime against women in one state, they should not forget that crime against women is happening in the state ruled by non-BGP state, especially Congress like Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, and also West Bengal by the TMC. So uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Uh, Union uh, Minister uh, Prahlad uh, Joshi and also Piyush Goyal came out and uh, you know spoke uh, uh, at length on this, on the crime against women in, BJ, in Congress ruled state as well. So it seems that the House was expected to start, you know, this is supposed to be a very stormy start, which in fact has proved right. Uh, the opposition is not budging from the demand on, uh, on Manipur. Now what uh, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister will do is uh, he'll try to reach out all, to the all opposition party leaders, the flow leaders, and try to draw consensus uh, you know, at least for the next month, next week, uh, so that there should be some bills that will be taken up. The, these bills are in interest of the people, as Prime Minister rightly said. So they would approach these people that, you know, we will agree to a de debate, demand. We have also acceded to a demand and also, uh, you know, submitted your short notice um, issues also. But the fact of the matter is that you need to... Uh, let the house run smoothly and function smoothly.